location and get the right ones. You said that Utah is such a good offensive rebounding team. Best in the NBA, Jalen Williams. Checked out, that is Aaron Wiggins. His first shot of the game. Man, that was a nice little dime he dropped. And Horton Tucker rainbows one in from the outside. He is a veteran. He can get going sometimes. That's a good numbers there as well. And the Donovan Mitchell trade as J-Dub splashes one home straight away. And he is playing with as much confidence as... Just got to be good at a lot of different things. And that, that kind of describes his game right now. He does a lot of things really well. Passes the basketball. Jesus, so folks, calm down. I'm trying to calm down too because I like, like you know, this kid has gotten really good at, at a lot of different things real quickly. Well, from one cop to pick right in front of Jalen Williams, number 11, as Dunn bounces off of Wiggins, hand in the face, and Dunn still got it off. So got oh, just for halftime, put me back in the first quarter. I mean, you know, I just think, you know, and he, you know, he hasn't had a whole lot of court time with these guys, which makes those numbers even more impressive, which means he's in the right spot. Hendricks still looking for that three to go. That's a line drive three. And he drops it in there. And, and, and sometimes, man, you, 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 the fans there just have to be patient. You know, you just have to look at it. That, you know, that's a beautiful, beautiful feed by J-Dub over to Jang. And he continues to pile on those points. And that's going to be a season high for him. Marathon, not a sprint. You don't look at right now. You're looking down the road. They're going to have overlapping drafts as the Thunder continue to you know, a couple of good passes. That time, he made a good pass over. j Dub just muscling his way up. He's going to get the and one. No, he, he finishes through contact. This time, he's going to get rewarded, but he's so used to it. You know, he, I saw a picture of him last summer, man. He scared me, man. This guy said, I don't want to run to that guy in a dark alley. He looked all buff, man. I said, no, that's not j Dub. You can see why he's playing through that contact, because he just, he's got that body, man. He's got an NBA-ready body. And another beautiful distribution from Jalen Williams, who's just seen the floor so well. The second-year player, that time, finding Casey Wallace, the rookie. That's what the were able to get some tremendous leverage a couple of nights ago against the Warriors. Got stripped. Heading the other way, Holmgren, the last line of defense, and somehow on that drive from George, he got it up over the shot block attempt. Gave him a little bit of that left arm just to sort of clear him out. Seemed like both players kind of initiated. There's another beautiful pass. Josh Giddy freshly inserted into the game. Another backdoor cut. This time it's Casey Wallace as these Thunder passes are just incredible. One better than the other. Uh, and, and you're loving the fact that you know, they're, they're just playing off of each other. Boy, Jante George, who has not shot the ball well, just 30%. Played last year for Utah. Really came out of nowhere. Not a young player, 28. And now a quick word from the Oklahoma Four Dealers. One more for Fontecchio at the line. Sees a little bit of space from the outside as he dots the corners. Not going down from the other corner early in the first quarter. He's so unselfish with the basketball. Well, especially how competitive the World Cup was. With George once again goes right at Ted Holbrook, and again he finishes. Jazz fans are going to enjoy their 16th because they scout you one way, but there's so many options on one play. It's been Wallace defending Clarkson this time as Jalen Williams and Clarkson had the step. Clarkson leaned right into it. And Clarkson has been very quiet in this first half, just 